they can squeeze as much as they want but because I believe in the Lord and the Heavenly Father I will survive I've, I've survived from 2016 I've been squeezed from 2016 if it were some people cowards by now they could have gone to Neo to PF that Papa Tanala for Kunsal. Not in Bwidi. In Bwidi is something else. If you were called in a different capacity as a running mate, uh, with the sole papers of the Patriotic Front working with NDC, would you be available? Running mate to who? Whoever will be. Running mate to who? Whoever will be uh, be a presidential candidate for the Patriotic Front. I'm not interested about uh, who will be there, but I'm talking about the Patriotic Front as a party. First and foremost, I have given reasons as to why I cannot go back to PF. One, rampant corruption. Two, incompetence. And three, failing to differentiate development from undertaking projects for the purpose of having commissions. Now, if the same administration in PF wants me to go and join them under the circumstances, it's practically impossible. Look, I don't want to be like other people that who goes to say, no, when I was in the opposition, I was just politicking what I said about PF. <laughs> what a joke. You want me to be in that uh, class of uh, individuals? The answer is Mbwili cannot. After deep reflection, after some serious consultations with my family members and colleagues, I've realized to say I have to come back. I'm sure a lot of people will be shocked Mbwili now well again. It's simple. I'm back to renew my card. Mwewa mnina nechibe machitira. Ukui chefia. It's very important. Pride. No, quite a pride. You can't go anywhere. And I've realized, even when the late President Michael Sata was alive, he said, work for the people of Zambia. And I've said, let me come back and they help my brother develop this country more from what he has done. But uh, this is the same party that you called to be very corrupt and you can't go, go back to PF and you're back at PF. My brother, let bygones be bygones. Let us focus on the future. If we are going to dwell on the past, then we can't develop this country. How many people have voted things and they've gone back? What matters, I repented, and I'm back. Now that you're back, uh, are you going to change um, your statement, what you said that Lungu is not eligible to stand this year? My brother, let me tell you one thing. I go to court every day. I've been to court, I go to court. One thing I can tell you is that when that is it conquered, rude to say is eligible, who is Mbwiri? Who is Mbwiri? Have you heard them saying he's not eligible? Have you seen him sitting down? Is he not standing? He's standing. He's eligible. Don't put words in my mouth. Now can those who want to fight, let them continue. By the time they get done, Thank you. If I went to join Edgar Lungo's government, I have said and I want to say it again, even today, if Lungo called me, come and be vice president, I'll tell him, no, thank you. Unless Lungu resigns, unless the thieves in PF are arrested, unless the corruption is wiped out completely and leave the PF that we started. Under the circumstances, I can never, ever go and work under President Edgar Lungu. Because for me, President Edgar Lungu is not fit to be president of this country. And you will never be fit to be president of this country. So to go back to PF, I can never. And I'm using the word never 
N E V E R underline never. 